Petra Chan saw it. I'm Yuri. I'm a housewife who lives with my husband Katsura and daughter Karin, along with my husband's parents. Yuri, take a look at this. Wow, you finished making it. <laughs> I'm quite proud of it. My mother-in-law joined an event at the Community Design Center before and learned how to make stools out of milk cartons. After making the color out of the milk carton, you put tightly tied and used clothes into the middle of the cartons. After tying an old cloth around it and making it in a shape of an octagon, you knit a cover around it from strings taken out of old sweaters and clothes. It was a process that took much time and effort. You wouldn't believe it used to be a milk carton. I'm sure you can sell this stool. <laughs> Do you think so? My mother-in-law loved the stool that she made and often sat on it on the porch and read books. She was very fond of the stool she made. However, that very stool caused a huge incident thereafter. A few days later. Hmm? I wonder what that boy is doing. What is he rolling? Oh! Hey! That stool! Could it be? Hey, little boy! Where did you get that? Could that stool be from the house on the second street? Uh, I'm sorry! Uh, that boy! Was he trying to steal this chair? But why would he take something so big like this? It doesn't look like something a little child would want either. On top of that, the stool was all worn out and muddy. It had turned into a shaggy, messy lump. Oh, I wonder why you tried to take home such a heavy thing like this. I have no idea. But he did apologize and run away. So I think he knew he was doing something bad. Either way, I guess we shouldn't keep it outside anymore. After that, my mother-in-law fixed the worn-out stool and decided to keep it inside the entrance of the house. And then, two days later... Yes! Oh, don't worry. I'll get the door. No, no. I'll get it. Open up! Open up this door right now! Huh? Who could it be? I, I don't know. I'll get it. Yes? Who is it? There, standing in front of the door, was a woman around the same age as my mother-in-law. Who is it, you say? You thief! I know it was you guys who stole it, you know! Huh? Huh? Ma'am, what are you talking about? Stole what? Quit pretending like you don't know! Ah! That! The stool you have right there! Huh? Um, are you sure you're talking about this stool? Yes, I am! It's the same design as the one my daughter was talking about! Even my grandson tried to take it back, but he said that the residents chased him off! Grandson? Could it be that boy? You used to keep that stool on the wooden porch, right? Here, this photo! Uh, yes, but... That is my daughter's stool! Huh? Why did she take this photo? My daughter said she bought it at the Scandinavian furniture shop! It cost over $3,000! How dare you steal that! What? Uh, what? If you don't plan on giving it back, pay for it with money! You don't want me to call the police, do you? Uh, uh, we actually don't mind if you call the police. Huh? Rather, do you really think that the stool is worth $3,000? What are you talking about? My daughter said so! Tsutuji? Show her what's inside that stool. Okay. Uh, hey! What are you doing? Here, go on and confirm what's inside of this stool. Huh? Huh? If you take off the top cover of this stool, this is what it looks like. This is a stool that my mother-in-law made out of milk cartons. Arr. Like this, for example. See? There's no way a Scandinavian furniture shop would use materials with Japanese names written on it, would they? I think you're mistaking something. Ah! She ran away. What the heck was that? However, just 30 minutes after our visitor ran away from our house, that woman is back. What? But who is that next to her? We are terribly sorry. What? Um... 
spill me on the floor and apologize too, you stupid girl. Mm. Ugh. I, I'm very sorry. The lady that the old woman brought back with her was her daughter. After hearing them out, apparently her daughter had seen a very similar chair as ours at a Scandinavian furniture shop. No way! This stool is so cute. I want it. Ugh, but the price isn't cute at all. Uh, I really wanted that stool. Hmm? Oh! Hey, that's the stool! So the residents here bought it, huh? And because she wanted a stool so badly, surprisingly... I know! <laughs> I'll make my son go get it! She thought? She believed that her son would be forgiven even if he stole the stool because he was just a child. Thus, she used him. And after that plan failed, next... I know! I'll tell Mom that the stool that I bought was stolen. Then she'll go get it for me. <laughs> she thought, and now that everyone found out that it was all a lie, she was in this position right now. How dare you tell such an embarrassing lie like this? You tried to steal someone else's belongings and acted like they were the thieves? Who do you think you are? Because you apologize to your husband too when we get home. <laughs> want to cry! After all, the mother-daughter duo went back home as the mother scolded her non-stop. The next day, the young boy also came to say sorry with his grandmother. Uh, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! It's okay. You don't mind it anymore. But from now on, even if you were told by your mother to do something, if you think that something is wrong, it's important to talk to someone else about it too. Or say no, okay? Do you think you can do that for me next time? Yeah, I won't do anything like that anymore. Sorry. We hope that the son would see his mother as a negative example and would grow into a decent man. We decided not to tell the police to protect the young boy and his grandmother. But because we now knew their address and names, we made sure that they knew that we wouldn't hold back next time something like that happened. But... I was pretty sure that the grandmother would watch over her daughter strictly. She was quite abrupt and scary, but we were glad she was a decent person after all. Yuri, look at this. I made my second stool. I thought that maybe I can sell this at the Autumn Festival after I make three more. Oh, that's wonderful. The one positive thing that we got out of this incident was that my mother-in-law gained more confidence in the fact that the stool she made out of materials that cost almost nothing looked like a stool that could cost $3,000. And maybe I can copy you and try making a milk carton stool too. No. It's wonderful that you're all enjoying the process, but can you please stop using milk cartons? <laughs> Enough. Goodbye. <laughs> 素敵なスツールだったから盗むなんて発想普通は出てこないですよねましてや盗みを子供にさせるなんてひどすぎますでもあのくらいの年代の子供からしたら親の言うことにはなかなか逆らえないですし子供ながらおかしいと思った時親以